I got this thing that says Suja Daybreak Probiotic Organic Water Maple Syrup Lemon, and then it goes like a bunch of faded text. I don't read as much. Ugh, maple syrup lemon? So then I screw and I drink it and I was like, what the fuck does that flavor? I look further down the label, it says as it says for vegan probiotics, cayenne. What wait, like as in the pepper? Yes. And I look around <laughs> and it has seeds floating in it. <laughs> what? So it's like wait, lemon it's... and spicy and it's like it's it's maple syrup. It's like maple. Yeah, it's and maple syrup, lemon, and cayenne pepper. Maple syrup and pepper. It's a, what the fuck? Third Are, of, that's it's like it's a third of a liter, hundred calories, seven percent juice. It's a bit of a surprise seven, when I uh, got that first percent. drink. When my first drink came with burning, that was a surprise. I was like, ah, oh, huh. Wait, the 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 spicy is stronger than the sweet. <laughs> it's not. It's not like I ate a ghost pepper or something. It's just like, I'm like, no, huh, I know. That's the flavor I didn't think was going to be in that. Is it's, the, I think it's supposed burn. to be like a good blend, like yeah. the kind of blend that. I actually might like it. We'll see. I've only had one drink, but it was a surprise drink. So where I'm like, what is this flavor? All right, I am... I'm gonna have to relearn how to do the hint reading on this control scheme. Uh, my control, just my check controls. Work. It, it said it's a little unsure. It might be tab, but that might be telling you how to do it here because it's time tra chart controls. I'll well, it says toggle tip. Yeah, we'll see. And those are tips, right? Maybe. Uh, We've had two deaths so f no, not two deaths. This is a really big whoa. day for Kano. We had yeah. a life ending. We had a career ending day, and we had him getting shot to death. Whereas the outcomes yeah, for but Achi so far are. He gets <laughs> arrested. He only oh, does get arrested, but then they're like, "This was a mistake." <laughs> well, te actually, technically, Kano has lived a very extreme life. Achi has lived a very uh, calm life because he he's uh, been we Kiryu have... up here. Well, yeah, but we like we avoided him getting arrested in yeah. his timeline when we started it, so. Like, he never got arrested, technically, but Kano still, like, lived the bad end, and then re-went back, and then lived the bad end again, so, like... So, yeah. I guess, let's not jump to the young man in the suit, and let's, uh, try to do something as Achi to make him not get shot to death. Yeah. What a good idea. What a masterful plan. Wait, why didn't we... Wait, couldn't we have... Cho wait, couldn't we have chosen a different option for Kano to just not give up the pursuer and keep chasing that foreign guy uh we could have because i feel like the or fact we that can we see gave what happens up... in this guy's storyline i don't know all right we can do uh, either honestly i don't know who's talking but they like they like tutorialized a mandatory jump so we could, we could see what happens after that point true 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 uh let's see whoa a nearby homeless man suddenly left over Achi and broke into a run, as if he had been waiting for this very moment. Sprinting alongside him was a young man in a suit. And that's when we jumped to him, but now we're not. Then, seemingly from everywhere, a whole bunch of other guys burst into motion. First one. Then another. A third, a fourth, a fifth. Over a dozen now. What the heck? Clearly something big was going down. They were after the... Or, uh, were they after the Atashi case? Within moments, Achi lost sight of them all through the crowd. With that many people chasing him, the guy with the case was sure to get caught. But wait. What about the girl? Achi turned back around. The girl was still there. She was uh, staring in the direction that the man who'd taken the case had gone, a worried expression on her face. Oh, maybe we'll get to witness the kidnapping or even chased after that. Yeah, it might have been actually Achi who kidnapped her. Oh. Oh. That'd be well, they might have they might have thought it was well they might have thought it was a kidnapping, but it was just him trying to be a good guy. Let's see, Yachi couldn't take the feeling that something was very wrong. Maybe he should talk to her and ask what's going on. Another crazy day in Shibuya. They had, been, uh, they had to be shooting a scene for a film on location. It would probably be a mistake to intrude. So clearly A is like 
the right option? Until we find out that that's how we, the, the bad happens. Let's see. I guess this, this is, wait, this is Japan, so it's probably better to not butt into <laughs> people's business is usually the mentality. I mean, he, we're Achi already playing a character that gets in on people's business. Yeah, Achi couldn't shake the feeling that something was very wrong. Maybe he should talk to her and ask what was going on. Uh, but just as he was making up his mind, a middle-aged man in a ratty business suit shuffled awkwardly over to her first. Is it our antagonist? He's got a cane. He must be evil. Was there something wrong with one of his legs? Or is that a really bad fashion statement? He was using a cane to walk. Then one of his hands slipped into his jacket pocket. Achi could uh, scarcely believe his eyes. Is that a gun? He had a uh, banana. Yep. Oh. That's a gun. <laughs> oh, that's like a, re a revolver? revolver? Could you could you please tell me what a revolver is? Can yeah. You? A Colt Detective Special, a 30, uh, 38 caliber revolver introduced in 1927 by Colt's Manufacturing Company, a classic example of a snubbed nose revolver. As the name implies, the weapon is frequently carried by detectives, narcotics, uh, narcotics officers, and the like for self-defense. A gun? In Japan? I mean, that is oddly rare. What? Suddenly, uh, suddenly a young man came running through the crowd. Wait, uh, wait, uh, 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 wait, is that who I think it is? Yeah, I'm confused. How does he hear? Uh, seeing him, the man with the cane turned on his heel and vanished into the, in the scramble. How quickly could he vanish if he's walking with a cane? Also, what? Because <laughs> the cane was a fashion statement. <laughs> It's just an evil man cane, not a not a not an actual cane. <laughs> Something big was going down. What tipped you off? The gun? <laughs> what is all this? The young man was closing in on the girl, his expression grim. That guy's up to no good. Oh no. Achi sprang into motion. Achi no, that's a police Achi, officer. No. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good God, he just fucking straight back kicked this guy. <laughs> that guy though, not the guy with the gun. Achi might not be very smart. <laughs> well, I think Achi might have thought this guy had also something to do with it. So he's but, just trying to, he's just saying like, this girl is getting attacked by a lot with, of guys The guy today. with the gun ran away from this guy. <laughs> True. He's not very smart. Hey, uh. Leaping high, Achi delivered a flying kick right between the man's shoulder blades. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the <laughs> what is it? This is like the most this is the most Yakuza picture ever. <laughs> Just like <"Grr." laughs> <laughs> just like you could have, you could hear it just like eh nande <laughs> like, <laughs> It's it's every single every single sub story in Yakuza that starts with people bumping into each other on the shoulder. Exactly. Yeah, I guess this is now a fight to the death now. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What is the word for that? It's uh, it's a, it's, it's a like chotomate. <laughs> Kurusai. <laughs> Kurusai. <laughs> the guy went down, but recovered surprisingly fast, spinning back on his feet to grapple with Achi. What the hell is your problem? What the hell is your problem, man? Achi snapped. The two stood staring each other down as the crowd swirled around them. Let go of me. You let go of me first. After you let go of me, sure. You first, pal. Don't you call me pal, man. Don't you call me man, pal. <laughs> Neither man was willing, to, was willing to yield, nor do we have any idea which man is saying which thing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We're just guessing, and they both, because it's totally neutral anyway. I th I think we totally reversed the roles, by the way. I think, yeah. The <laughs> Wait, okay. God damn it. So like, half of these people are just clearly random people you'd see on the street. One of these people, not saying names, guy wearing button-up shirt, is clearly uh, <laughs> wearing either a wig or is an actor of some sort. Maybe a combination of the two. <laughs> like, you you did not walk it's outside of your house. producer. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you didn't walk outside of your house like that on purpose. Like, I know you didn't do that. <laughs> like... <laughs> The crowd had parted to avoid the, uh, the scuffle. Passerbys were staring from all sides. What is that guy so shocked by? Which guy? Like, Look behind you. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah I think the guy on the left is staring at a completely different thing, looking even more shocked. I think that guy's scared of the flash mob, and he's there's more people like a, coming. He's looking at like a, like a man scale rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, crap. Achi got a sudden sinking feeling. What the hell am I even doing? Jumped in over my head as usual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you shouldn't have worn that uh, mean clean shirt. <laughs> his anger melted away. He loosened his grip. Without further argument, the other man let go of Achi's jacket. Turning quickly away, the stranger hurried over to the statue of Hachiko, where he dropped to his knees dejected. The girl who'd been standing there was nowhere to be seen. Maybe this, uh, this was the guy she'd been waiting on? The guy was clearly upset that she was missing. Hachi actually felt kind of bad for him. I mean, you, you don't feel bad that you kicked a man wearing a suit? Like, that's expensive <laughs> to clean. <laughs> He decided it would be wise to leave while the guy's attention was elsewhere. You better get out of here before that lawsuit happens. <laughs> yeah, also the fact that you're still carrying this trash bag. <laughs> Whew. He hurried back along the road to his house. The wind had gone out of his sails, and he didn't feel much like cleaning up trash anymore. Ah, uh, well, guess I'll read some manga and go to bed. Ah, uh, the daily routine. I, I didn't the day just understand, start? <laughs> didn't the day yeah. just start? Wait, what? Wait, yeah. Isn't it, it supposed to be like, for like in a the... couple hours? It's like 10.30 in the morning. No, no. It's probably more closer to the afternoon. No. Yes. No, this game's built into a clock. I'm hyper aware of the fact that it's like it's like 10.30. That's when... No, the other... yeah, it's the other... like almost 11. Kano got murdered at like 10.35 in the morning. Like, that's, <laughs> like, it's so early, and he just started picking up trash. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, he is, he is... He's uh, living the dream. He is a delinquent, I guess? So, I don't know what the schedule of a delinquent Listen, is. Maybe hitting a lot of people. That's tiring. I, that is true. Um, Actually, no, he only hit one guy once. He just scared the other people with his, his freaking Dragon of Dojima reputation. <laughs> no, remember he grabbed that guy's face and made him... Oh right! Uh, put the gum in his pocket. He didn't actually hit anyone. He didn't actually hit anyone though, right? He just no. like, kind of. He just like like. Oh my God! It's Mr. Trash Man. <laughs> not scary. Not scary. Trash Man. Hey, it's it's mean clean. <laughs> Better better play, play it safe. safe before the day got any worse. Is that bad late? end? <laughs> okay. What are you serious? Tussle with the stranger. Well, that's unexplained. Uh, okay. I could get the hint, but instead I could just be like, uh. I, I, I feel like the hints will overexplain well, things. Yeah, I, I was gonna say maybe the should... other Kano choice. Oh, yeah, I, I know there was another the choice Kano here. Choice. Well, yeah, I remember you made the choice to. Uh, you could have either. Yeah, let's not get involved. Oh. Yeah, the mysterious. It must be man. a film. It must be a film performance, and we just walk away. Bad end. <laughs> I would be so mad. <laughs> It'd be quick. It's definitely different from the Zero Escape thing where you play for 90 minutes to get the bad end each time. Right? Isn't this <laughs> nice? We got a bad end, like, within, what, <laughs> seven minutes of recording? <laughs> yeah, like, holy shit. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, another crazy day in Shibuya. They had to be shooting a scene for, on a f uh, for a film on location. It would probably be a mistake to intrude. And then they repeat it. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I bet that's what it is. Some TV show about a kidnapping, and the girl has to make a ransom handoff. Wow, you fucking should be a detective. You nailed it. And there's probably some actor lurking around here playing the suave, handsome detective. Oh my god. I just gave a chuckle and turned away. And then Suddenly, a suave, handsome detective showed up. <laughs> and then a man in a cane shoots her. Oh my god. <laughs> is he just walking away? <laughs> A soothing breeze blew by as, a whis as wispy clouds drifted overhead. They picked a nice day for a shoot. Did they? I feel like cloudy weather is bad for lighting. Smiling inward, he resumed his trash picking mission, wondering what other surprises the day would hold. Yeah, but the clouds are wispy. What the fuck does that mean? It's like when they're just kind of streaks. Is that what wispy means? Yeah, well it means like translucent and 
like weak or whatever. Like it's not, they're not, they're not like, they're not solid clouds. It's just like, well, for me, it was literally yesterday's weather. <laughs> like when it's just like, like streaks of white that are there that don't actually cover anything. Yeah. All right. I, I guess I'll take your word for it. Um, smiling inwardly, he resumes his trash picking mission, wondering what other surprises the day would hold. Yeah. He actually did shoot him. him. What? <laughs> there was a gunfire. There was a gunshot sound. <laughs> oh God, I couldn't hear it, so <laughs> I apologize. I couldn't react to it properly. Uh, well, I guess she's dead. A few moments later, <laughs> oh, he dead. heard a loud bang, and the, uh, the scramble went into an uproar. Huh? <laughs> Someone blew a tire. Well, you've never heard a gun before in your life? I think uh, that sounds different than a tire. If you're not used to guns, you can imagine other things are guns, or imagine that guns are other things. <laughs> someone like, drops pots on the ground? Huh? Did someone shoot a gun? <laughs> <laughs> or like a, a car backfires and you're like, oh my god, a gun. Or like, I had the, uh, I had that, nate, that late night wow scare where I was playing with my window open at the old house and didn't really realize it was like 5 a.m. or something like that and the paper was delivered and the loud slap on the driveway right outside the window genuinely made me like startled and I was like peeking out the window to see if something was going on. <laughs> and you see some van driving past just throwing newspapers at people's houses and you're like, oh, it's, wait. It's a cover oh. for all the gunshots. <laughs> <laughs> what a shitty cover. <laughs> People were running from all directions to see what had made the sound. Oh, maybe they're shooting an action scene now. Achi was a tad bit curious, but he strolled away from the scramble without looking back. Maybe he'd head out to Yotsu, uh, Yotsuya today to stretch his legs a bit. He just wandered off. <laughs> wow. A neighborhood of the Shinjuku Ward in the south, uh, south, uh, southeastern part of Tokyo, located approximately four kilometers northwest, or northeast, yeah, northeast of Shibuya Station. While the numbers 428 in Japanese can be pronounced the same as the syllables for the name uh, Shibuya, Shibuya, they can also be pronounced yeah. like... Uh, yeah, I learned so numbers. four is... <laughs> Uh, she, um, well, okay, two is different, because, uh, uh, four is, what is it, ich, ni, well, okay, wait, what can be pronounced the same as syllables for the name? Oh, okay, the syllables, all right, because I was going to say, uh, because it's eat what, ich, ni, uh, ich, ni, san, no, e yeah, each... Japanese e is incredibly confusing. San, yo... Because as, yo, as an uh, English but, speaker, this sentence is impossible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Like, it's literally uh, not possible, the idea that those could be pronounced, it could be Shibuya or Yotsuya. Yeah, it's normal. It could be completely different pronunciations. <laughs> yeah, because uh, that's what I was trying to show you, is that uh, four can be yo or she. So it depends on the context in which you're using the number, but like, um, the, usually they don't like to use four as she because that's like the same for death. I was so, gonna say like which I was gonna say four is the death number, isn't it? Like Shinigami. Yeah, yeah. So that's that like for the she in Shibuya. So she, if you basically Shibuya is using the alternate forms of four two eight and Yotsuba or Yotsuya is using the the normal 428 numbers. Um, yeah, any case, um, that's yeah, a little Japanese <laughs> trivia for you. It's, uh, every time I learn a new rule, I'm more confused. <laughs> that's kind of the point. <laughs> it was best not to get distracted. There was trash that needed collecting. Really? What a great guy. Bad end. Bad end. <laughs> we got two bad endings. Yeah, your future is garbage. <laughs> wow, hot take. God damn. <laughs> also, what the, we got? Two, we literally got two bad endings, like yeah. in five minutes apart from each other. It's because you're you are supposed to not continue with him after the tutorial jump. But it was really. Yeah, but I'm but saying I'm happy we did because what the, what was but that? How how did you write <laughs> so efficiently? <laughs> you mean where every page is something happening? It's like a novel that's visual. All right, so 
We're gonna be a hothead detective and chase this guy down. Letting the perp escape now is too big a risk. He had to catch this guy ASAP. Action shots, I like the zooms and shit. <laughs> yeah. The man darted down a narrow alleyway. Kinda ran faster. The man sprinted through the side streets. Evidently, he knew his way around Shibuya pretty well. I have no idea who that is. Oh no, it's uh, uh, the radio oh, guy. Oh, it's... Oh fuck, what voice did I give him? It was like, you did uh, like the high-pitched uh, Zeppelin man. <laughs> the Daredevil. Hey, somebody's taking Hitomi! Kind of recognized Kuze's trademark squawk immediately. It's too bad he couldn't <laughs> say that before the dialogue so we know who's saying it. <laughs> Subject is male. He appears to be carrying a gun. He's fleeing in the direction of Meiji Dori. What? Kano could hardly believe it. Hitomi had been kidnapped? Had she been abducted by whoever had taken Maria? But why? Someone must have been waiting for the moment when the police took their eyes off of her. Something's very wrong here. What in the world is going on? Are you still running? Kano saw that the road forked up ahead. The man with the attaché case ran to the left. If the man who'd taken Hitomi was headed toward Meiji Dori, there's a good chance he'd gone down one of the alleyways off to the right. Making a snap judgment, Kano told the detective behind him to follow the case snatcher. Then turned and headed down the nearest alley. I was surprised that wasn't a choice. Um, I think because it would be... Like, because you already made the choice to not follow the guy with the uh, attache case, and then you ended up seeing him in the alleyways, and then he turned around and shot you. So I guess it would be kind of like, it would just be the same bad end, more or less. So After, maybe they just avoided. I don't know. After darting through the side of the streets, he spotted a different man, another foreigner crossing an intersection a few dozen meters ahead. Yeah, like, wasn't the guy who shot us a different person than the one that grabbed the case? It's that guy. Yeah, it's the yeah, same guy. Wait, what the fuck? The man was dressed in black, just like the guy who'd grabbed the ransom money. Kuze's right, the kidnapper wasn't acting alone. But wait, something was amiss. Hitomi isn't with him. How many uh, How many foreigners are there? <laughs> how many foreigners with Atashi cases in are there in Japan right now? Like... <laughs> Hitomi isn't with him. Where was she? Kano skidded around the corner, then stopped short. The man with... In black was standing there, pointing a gun right at him. Before Kano could is, react, the man fired. Why does this guy look just like, uh... What's his name from Red like, Letter Media? <laughs> Mike? Yeah, he Mike's looks just plus. like Mike. <laughs> Kano felt hot all over as if he run fire. I think he just died again. Wait, you can't just get a bad end again. Yeah, I just died the same way. I got shot and I'm, I fall over and I'm like, oh no. So we're in... At a, yeah. We're at a pass There's now. nothing he could do, nothing that is except lie there and watch as his killer turned and walked away. Wait, so we're... Is this the same bad end? Do -do 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 -do. Different animations. Shot by a foreigner. Same bad end? How does this look on the thing? Wait. What? Wait. Wow, we already ran into a, a roadblock here. How the fuck... We didn't miss anything, right? Like, there weren't any red lines. Let's see. Oh. What? We haven't done approach the girl. Didn't we specifically avoid approaching the girl because, because it gets, leads to that yeah, guy having bad career things? I think yeah. we need to approach the girl, but then make different decisions as, as uh, this character. As Achi? Yeah. Uh, so do the thing that initially seemed like it would fuck up everything and we avoided doing before. So there's like then, no other decisions, okay. I think. Getting clever yeah. here. Also, apparently, yeah, multiple branches can lead to the same ending, evidently. Huh. There we go. No, what kind of person makes a young lady uh, lug around something heavy like that? I actually figured he'd offer to carry it for her. The girl kept shifting her grip. It was clearly a strain for her to keep holding the case, but she didn't set it down. Whatever was inside, it had to be something pretty important. Achi made his way over to her, bristling inward at what uh, whoever had left her waiting like this. You know, out of curiosity, 
it would be kind of funny if you like if you know this is the whole handoff thing where you have a, a case full of money and the point is that the uh what's it called that the obviously the bad guy is going to come and take the money from you in exchange for the thing but like what if you just put really like just incredibly heavy lead in the suitcase <laughs> and then just like set it down She's in front got, of like, you so the guy wire reinforced frame under her clothes that like an exoskeleton to let her hold it and the moment the yeah. guy grabs it it's just like crushes his foot <laughs> <laughs> pretty much yeah like what if the guy walks up and he's just like do you have the money he's like yeah it's in the briefcase and he like grabs the briefcase from you obviously because you know the point is to take it and run but he grabs it and just like falls Ugh. to the ground because it's just like immediately a hundred pounds of weight it's just like oh this is okay. not good oh <laughs> Or you could just even go one step further just and just like, like dragging it across the courtyard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you could be like really like scummy about it and just set it down in front of you because the point is like they'll run and just grab it and try to make off with it. But like if you set it down in front of you, just put glue on the handle. So the moment he cr runs to grab it to you know, like he slips because obviously it's too heavy. But then he falls over to try to like let go. And he's like, oh, my hand won't let go. Now I'm like glued <laughs> to lead. Like I can't. <laughs> OK, let's see here. If I were you, I'd bust the head of the punk that's kept you waiting. Huh? That thing looks heavy. Let me carry it for you. The girl stared back at Achi with wide eyes, but said nothing. Really, I'm happy to help. I'm not going to steal it or anything. His tone was hurried, and he impulsively reached for the Itachi case. An instant later, a group of men descended on him from all sides. <laughs> Whoa, hey, what the hell? That's a camera oh, this angle. Is a, this is a fun action <laughs> shot. Do you think this was a selfie? <laughs> it, I mean, yes, it might have been. Their faces uh, are absurd. Right. Look at the top of this guy. Yeah, I, I like that guy the best. Where he's just like, oh. <laughs> Everyone else is like clearly making like this angry face, but he just, he's just he like just tripped. shocked. Or, or the flash went off and he just wasn't ready for flash. He was like, oh. <laughs> for an instant, Achi froze, unable to process just what was happening. He tried to run, but the men shoved him un unceremoniously to the ground and held him there. But they were sh uh, they were shouting about something or another, but he couldn't make it out uh, make out their words. The more he tried to struggle, the harder they held him down. That does seem like a language that wouldn't work well with multiple people talking to you at the same time. What Japanese? Yeah, because Japanese is all about uh, is like specifically in the way that you you form the sentence. So you, it's not like English so where you, get, you say like you get snippets hey. doesn't have the same meaning. Yeah, exactly. So if someone, you know, if you have six people saying like, "Who are you? What are you doing here?" blah, like you can put like you can put those together easily because it's it follows, you know, it goes in a it's, straight it's line. It's like if you get like that that trope of like uh, radio transmissions where it's like breaking in and out, and you keep getting like one or two words at a time. Like in English, you can like play a little fun like fill in the blanks puzzle, but in Japanese, you have to do like complex algebra. <laughs> like, yeah, basically, like, there's so like you many have variables to now. Yeah, because someone could say, someone could say, like, you, and then dog, and then love, but you could put those together in, like, multiple four. different ways. <laughs> yeah, but, like, yeah, but you could put that, those three words together in multiple ways, whereas with English, it's, you have a dog that you love? Okay, that could work. You, like, your dog loves you? Okay, that could work. Like, you could go through a lot of things. kind of fixed meanings with a, with less variability and what they could, what those syllables could mean. Yeah. But also, like, he could have said, uh, he could have said, like, for love, it could have be, um, uh, it could be, like, what, what's, uh, because there's, like, multiple different ways to say the word love. And though the way you say it also has context to what the sentence is. So, like, you wouldn't say, like, you could say skeet, which is love, or you could say daisuke, which is a different type, or you could say, like, yeah, Japanese is not a language you want six people <laughs> shouting at you at the same time. Like, that would just be madness. I, I get Achi's feeling where he's like, what the fuck's going on? They're like... <laughs> so Soldier Boy was speaking Japanese? Was that Soldier Boy? Who, was, who the fuck was that? The skeet? skeet? What? <laughs> on my end, it sounded like he said skeet. <laughs> when he said love. I'm no, like, skeet it's... Skeet means love. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unfortunately to some people, ski could be love, but not <laughs> the right this, type of love. Is this love? 
Skeet, skeet, skeet. <laughs> like... No, the worst meme. Uh, it's <laughs> the worst meme. What the hell is this? You can tell us that down at the precinct. A, a man in a suit knelt alongside him, flashing a police badge. What is a badge? <laughs> Identifies the bearer as a member of a Japanese law enforcement. The old style badge case included a small notebook for the bearer to write in, but the modern version is modeled after what is uh, what uh, after that used by the FBI, where the badge case contains only the badge itself. Wow, everyone really latched onto that thing, didn't they? That's what American movies do to the world. <laughs> but <laughs> they just infect FBI their thought brains. I don't think FBI even really does that. But the movies I think they do just, at least. <laughs> No, I know, but I think like FBI just have a, a card. Like I, I don't think they have I think like they a fancy just have a reputation. Well, that I mean, they also have jackets that say FBI on them and a you know like <laughs> a only. bunch of guns. <laughs> Members only. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a guy with an FBI jacket and a staff shirt. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what? You're arresting me? What the heck did I even do? Instead of answering, it's, they showed Ashi uh, into the back seat of a patrol. Wait, car. who's? Whose role is this? Is this still mine? Yeah, I'm I don't know why I read right? that. <laughs> okay. He gazed well, dejectedly already... out the window. <laughs> We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> it, it's really confusing. Wait, okay. How did you? Come on, man. You really are following the a man guy with a just cane? Walked on and did it this time. You could literally run from a guy. What's he gonna do? Fucking chase you? Like... <laughs> this time we can talk about the guy with the cane as Achi instead of not, which is what Achi did when we weren't him. Yeah. Because there must be Let's something see. else we can do during the interrogation, since that's like the only loose end. Yeah. He could uh, he could see the girl. She didn't have the case anymore. Now she was talking to a man with a cane. Was he the person she'd been waiting for? You're really hung up on this, aren't you, Ashi? Because he because he's so because he has no idea what's happening. A moment later, the car turned the corner, and the two of them slipped out of view. Ashi slumped back in the seat, sulking and silent. Don't wait. Is this a bad end? Yeah, okay. probably. Several, Several hours, hours pass. pass. That's not good. <laughs> Several hours pass. <laughs> Several After... hours later. <laughs> Seven minutes later. <laughs> After a bunch of pointless questioning, the police finally determined he was innocent, and his father came to pick him up. For a long while, Achi just stared intently out the window of the car. Finally, his father caught his attention. The old man seemed to be in a surprisingly good mood despite having to collect his son from the jailhouse. What, uh, is he the mastermind? <laughs> that'd be hilarious. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't know what voice to give this dad. <laughs> I guess Actually, there's something him... I want to talk to you about. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, it's come It's fine. On. I just pressed up. <laughs> if it's about me uh, taking over the shop now, it's not the time, okay? No, it's not that. Look. Let's just get home first. Uh, sure. Don't feel like going out today anyway. Oh, right. Wait. No, I don't remember. He, yeah, talk he said say something before I just remembered. But I don't remember Ooh. what he said. <laughs> the dad? Because he, he were like, hey, I'm going out or something like that. And the dad responded. But I don't remember what he sounded like at all. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, did the dad talk in the beginning? Yeah, at the very, very beginning. Now. Yeah. But now I'm curious. What do you want to talk about? I got some good news. I think you'll be pleased. I think he's the bad guy. Oh my god. I found you a wife. She was she was free. She was just standing in front of a statue. <laughs> yeah, the no price tag or anything. <laughs> god. We're like a morbid future. I'm not sure I like the sound of that. Please don't tell me you're getting remarried or something. <laughs> uh, Dad, I really don't like the sound of that. <laughs> oh my That's god, so... maybe he did. Maybe he did kidnap her. <laughs> like... <laughs> Jesus. What is happening? And so began a very long conversation. What the fuck? Is he the villain? <laughs> This is the, the music's in like it's tense and tense mute mode right now, like something bad's happening. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting there's like sound in this. Yeah, game. we'll have to figure out how to transmit audio. We were talked about it, but then we didn't talk about it. <laughs> That's a bad end. What the arrested? Fuck? I just <laughs> arrested. Okay, I want to avoid hints if we can, but let's see. Whoa. Oh, 
hey, there's a choice. What was Wait. the choice up here? Which one was that? That was either to apprehend Achi or no, not. This is the one that they Wait. said wouldn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Did they lie to us? They said that one doesn't matter. So well, they they said it did, but we don't have any other. What choices. happened is we ch we made a different choice as Achi to so now we 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 went back to approaching the girl, and since we approached the girl, that made it so that since we approached the girl, the ch the, the other choices don't exist here because now Kano's going to go after Achi. What the f yeah. Fuck? So we have to. So really quick. Wait 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 wait. I'm gonna switch no, back to the other back, one. What? Go back to the time chart. What? Oh, this, this is the time chart. This is the time chart. What are you talking about? I was thinking maybe there's like a way we can expand the chart or something. I don't know. In any case, I guess this I'm is gonna, real. This is going to be a real fun puzzle game. I'm going to go reapproach the girl. Yeah. I mean, unapproach the girl. Is there a skip button? <laughs> yeah, we just click this real quick, I think. Okay. There we go. Uh, time chart. There we go. Time all we all we do is remake the choice real quick, and now, now we've now we've stopped approaching the girl, and the and the other decisions have reappeared. Because, yeah, <laughs> we're getting so while while Zero Escape shows every possible possibility at once, this shows the current reality as it's playing out. That's interesting. So we so we can we can make so we cho we made the choice to not follow. We did at the moment. And following... Know, and I'm not sure if we want to change that or not. Let's see. A following got us... Well, not following and following got us killed. What's the deal? We have Wait. it set to B right now. Which, like, last uh, yeah. lap... Last we did, he was ignoring the situation, I think. So let's go back to him interfering. And see what the chart look the chart looks like when yeah. he's back to like getting mixed up in all this. Okay, so back to the time chart. Time chart. Okay. Okay. So Achi's interfering wait, right wait. now. There has to be a way to get Kano to uh, to assault Achi. Because remember, he shows up. Yeah, maybe if we switch it over to not follow, we'll get... Hey, did I just read that correctly? Wait, what? I set Achi to interfere, and now it doesn't say bad end. You notice that? Wait, yeah. Let's Go take a look tailing. at that. Tailing the foreigner. Let's see what changes. I think, it might, I think Achi interfering changes whether or not Kano gets shot. So he's yeah he's or kidnapped. So this is the chase that we saw. Okay. Two people. This is new. Oh, he's noticing Achi. I think. Oh. He noticed two people over by a trash pile. At first, they appeared to be a young couple. Ah, Achi's running off with the girl apparently. Shit, Achi is the kidnapper. <laughs> then, looking more closely, he realized that the girl was Hitomi. Uh, oh, Mr. Kuze, I've located Hitomi Osawa. The couple took off running, the rough-looking guy dragging Hitomi by the hand. She's with a man in his 20s. It looks like she's being led away against her will. Clarify, please. <laughs> Kuze demanded. <laughs> What's going on? I'm not sure. Was this guy a member of some criminal group? It looked like the yeah, two were running away from something. The street cleaning group. This is Kuze. <clears throat> All right, we'll handle the foreigner. You go after Hitomi. Got it. Kind of spraying into action. We avoided getting shot. Stop right there, criminal scum. The young man glanced back at Kano. Rather than stopping, he picked up speed, continuing to drag Hitomi along with him, which is kind of hard to do on stairs. Yeah, I was gonna say, wow, yeah. this is like. She didn't seem quite able to keep up. Kano knew he would catch them. Uh, yes. <laughs> He's dragging yeah. the girl upstairs. He tried to close the distance in a sprint. After a short distance, the young man stopped, realizing he couldn't outrun his pursuer. Bad end. <laughs> what is this <laughs> camera angle? All right. It's nice of them to stop at a polite showdown distance. <laughs> 
Shielding a Tomi behind him, he glowered at Kano. Out of curiosity, do you think they, uh, they like, specifically had to stand here and wait until that train was passing? <laughs> do, you think, do you think it's passing at a speed, or do you think it stops there? Uh, no, there's no way it's... Uh, no, there's... Neither of those is a state... Is a station? Oh, maybe it is a station to the far left. Yeah, I don't know. No, I don't. I don't think so. I think they. What they did is they just had like the train passing by, and then just did a super fast shutter speed. So it was taking like pictures really quickly, and they were able to get one of them that had the train not blurred. Why did you run off? Kano demanded. <laughs> because you were chasing us. A blatant lie. <laughs> People oh, didn't just wow. bolt like that without good reason. The young, the young tough started edging away, keeping Hitomi behind him. Kind of followed. Look, just let the girl go. The guy glanced back at Hitomi. She shook her head fearfully. Maybe this troublemaker had warned her to keep her mouth shut. You've got this, Kano. Don't let them out of your sight. What? Ugh! A sudden blow to the top of his head left him staggering. Bad end. Excuse me? <laughs> his eyes spun as he reeled with vertigo. Vertigo? Someone threw a uh, book at us? That's quite a camera angle. Uh, we... No, it was the book. The book? Oh, they threw the book at him? <laughs> yeah. There was a flapping sound and a vague black shape wheeled above him. Was that a crow? <laughs> <laughs> That's the fattest crow I've seen. It was the last thing Kano saw before his vision went dark. Bad end. Are you fucking kidding me? A pe this Wait. game. Was that a crow? <laughs> <laughs> we must be able to make a different choice now as... As... Oh, um, we can make it probably a different choice as Achi. Yeah. Keep wanting to call him Anno. I'm mixing the two names together into a, a, into the Ur name. <laughs> so now I, Achi I, must be able to continue forward I am instead of the so previous conflict. Confused. I guess this so. Is yeah. Crazy. This is getting also, like real. By crazy. the way, like I heard, there's like 50 endings in this game, so we're burning through those quickly. It might not be very long. <laughs> so we've seen a lot of them already. I I would like to know how many endings are bad. Uh, let's see. It's, it's, yeah, it doesn't say... Okay, now, now that we did that, it doesn't say bad end down here anymore. Ah, you're right. There's no more bad end here, so we just gotta continue. Yeah. Because now something different will happen because of what the other character was doing. This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. It's like heavy rain. <laughs> Wait, it's even more crazy because technically... Achi did something without us and that is what caused Achi to be in well, the what alleyway so what they're doing is they're continuing the plot line of whatever choice you made yeah. but the other character's choice interferes with his choice because previously we told him not to pursue we told Kano not to pursue so he came back here and he interfered with Achi but if, oh. Kano's not, but if Kano's not if Kano's not doing that and Achi approaches like different things can happen and it gets crazy. Is this kind of gonna? This is gonna be. Imagine when oh there's five God. characters. <laughs> I was gonna say this is gonna be a shit show when there's like juggling five different people's <laughs> stories and trying to get them to just work. You're like, you literally are taking people's heads and it's like, kiss, kiss, kiss. I need a storyline to work. <laughs> like, <laughs> gun. Dun 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 dun. A revolver. Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. That's new. Whoa, whoa. Okay, this is new. All right, go watch it. With a single fluid motion, the man lifted up the gun and pointed it in the girl's direction. He was aiming right for her head. So that's what happened. Kano not pursuing meant Kano was here to intimidate the gun guy and make him run away. Ah. Whereas this is what happens if Achi sees the gun guy and Kano doesn't make him run away. Huh? The girl had noticed the man with the cane now. Seeing the gun pointed right at her, she froze in fear. Achi didn't hesitate. 
cat. <laughs> Breaking into oh, a full <laughs> run, he, tack he tackled the gunman with all his might. Caught off guard, the man sprawled to the pavement. He's doing I drum mean, and bass. <laughs> <laughs> but the would-be assassin kept hold of his weapon and quickly scrambled back to his feet. Aji knew he had to act fast. Kick his hand. He grabbed the uh, uh, ashen-faced girl. Oh, that's kind of racist. Ashen-faced girl by the arm and attempted the to drag her away. Just means pale, as in like grim, shocked. It's an emotion. <laughs> oh. I, I thought he meant she just had an ashy face. No. I was like, dang. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> this way, he shouted. Uh, she just stared at him, uncomprehending, trembling like a startled animal. Come on, run! Finally, the girl snapped out of her daze and gave a fearful nod. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm filling it all in, I realize that there's a different icon for when the page turns, so I'm just filling the whole page in for you, because I know there's a lag for if I keep pressing, waiting for you to press enter. Yeah, um... So, so I'm kind of trying to go ahead. Well, uh, we did Let's Get Out of Here, and it didn't end very well, so... No, the so, uh, the police box. The police box? Yeah. The police box, let's go! Do they have those? <laughs> in Japan? What, too? police boxes? Yeah. They, yeah those, well, don't, those don't exist in the United States, do they? Uh, no. Uh, well. I've never heard of no. one until Doctor Who. Well, okay, no, that's different. A police box in. in um... Or is he. T police no, box he, outside like, okay. the train. Oh, he's talking about like a security station. Yeah, it's like so. A police box in like London was a, a place. It was, like was a basically box a to arrest people in. No, it's a free payphone. On the outside, like, but on the inside of the box, I think was a place that they could arrest somebody. Oh they yeah, they would lock. In. Yeah, they would lock someone in, in a police, police box. box. Yeah, but like uh, the idea. Yeah, but yeah. a police box in Japan literally means. There's a, a police officer sitting in a in a building, and that's where you go ah. to get a police officer. Because pl it's not like America, where there's just a cop on the street walking around with a gun and a baton and beating people. They're like, and it's you just hot walk outside. up. I'm and, sitting here. Yeah, and you don't just like you know like uh, in America, you kind of just commit a crime and a cop shows up. But in Japan, <laughs> you usually tell a police it's just officer. Just like GTA. That, <laughs> yeah, you, you, whereas... You jaywalk and then like a star pops up in the corner of your peripheral. <laughs> That's how like, it works. Yeah. Do, yeah, do, yeah, do you know how fast you were going when I, when I saw you? <laughs> when? You're getting it's a like... speeding ticket for jaywalking? That's like the worst crime. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just like, where did you come from? How did you know I was here? <laughs> Are you cutting on Joe? I, uh, God, I really would hate Joe. <laughs> I would really hate if it was like that, it's like GTA for jaywalking, because you like jaywalk and six cars just barrel down the street crashing into everything. Oh my god, I kind of want like ultra realistic GTA where it's just you try to get through a day of a normal office worker without committing a crime, but you're doing it as a video game player, which is why it's so hard. <laughs> it's, it's so hard to not like just drive incorrectly or walk incorrectly or litter or whatever because you're trying to be play as a fucking video game character. Like, I'm looking yeah. around as Kiryu, and I just, in Kiwami too, and I just explode desks. Like, I, I'll just, like, accidentally run through an office and, like, topple four people over and explode a desk with my shins. And I'm like, ah, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. There was just a collectible in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would like it more if like the police had to be the GTA police which are just irrational insane people who clearly disregard every single like every single part about their entire job just to catch a criminal but like uh but you are just a regular human being living a normal life so like if you do something like you know as accidental as bumping into a cop on the side of the you street have, like, like six suicidally engaged cops like yes. careening off cliffs to get you and you're like I, exactly I pulled into the parking it, lot their pathing just can't make it in here <laughs> it, yeah like shit like that where you like you're parking your car at the at like a parking garage at the very top but you forgot to get a ticket to do that so you technically broke the law and just like six cars just barrel off of the parking garage like into the street and it's just like the, oh. they put the the uh the spike strip out across the street and they're all like driving over each other's cars to get to you <laughs> <laughs> That's just what people actually think America's like. That's not <laughs> wrong. That, that is kind of how America's like, except not the cops, just the regular people. <laughs> 
Still pulling the girl by the hand, Aji headed for the police box outside the train station. But it was empty. There were always policemen staffing these things. Why did it have to be unmanned now? Because everybody's on the case. Just not very well. Because actually every police officer yeah. in a 50 mile radius is at that crime scene. Achi flashed a worried glance behind him and saw the assassin in pursuit like a man possessed. How? He has a cane! His legs should be not good. How is he fast, like, fast enough to catch up to you? That's why he's... Well, she's very slow. <laughs> she's bad at being what? dragged, evidently. <laughs> she's bad at being dragged? Yeah, she's bad at being dragged. <laughs> and she's more like she is a damn drag. Oh. God. Oh. Yikes, this is not good. There was nothing they could do but run. Fushush. Fushush, I love these transitions. <laughs> With the frightened girl in tow, Achi ran beneath the JR Yama, uh, Yama, uh, Yamanote line. Railway Yamanote, overpass. Yamanote, right? Yeah. Or did uh, you pronounce it? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. A railway loop line that services the Tokyo Metropolis. Uh, Metropolis? Metrop Metropolis. Typically, Metropolis. I'm yeah, like that movie. On the inside. Isn't that movie called yeah, Metropolis? Right. Yeah, Yeah, Metropolis, yeah. Typically, the morning rush is quite intense, with the stretch from uh, Ueno Station to Okachi, uh, Okachimachi Station, sometimes crowded as high as 216% capacity. Uh. Roughly 300 people. It's very true. Roughly 300 uh. people riding in a space designed for 143 passengers. There's also Unrelated no to the, uh, what the word capacity means. <laughs> Uh, well, you wouldn't either when you have to be at work at a very specific time and your work ethic built into you by culture has made it so that being late is literally, like, the gravest dishonor you could bring upon yourself. Um, also, they don't make those cars very big. Man, uh, I'm dishonorable. <laughs> unrelated to the y Yamate line subway that op <laughs> uh, Yamate, Yamate line subway <laughs> that operates in the city of Kobe. Like the beef. I was trying not to say it. <laughs> I mean, that's all people know Kobe for. Like, yeah. it's not not people don't know Kobe for its amazing ice cream. It's for the beef. That's it. Yeah. Don't worry, just trust me. He told her. But first, they also like to shout it whenever they throw paper at the garbage can. <laughs> did he really just hand that fucking bag of trash off oh, to a convenience store guy? Are you serious? Isn't he next to the actual garbage right now? I mean, I guess he'll figure it out. He's he's cleaning. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, uh, I mean, he's doing the right thing, which sounds kind of weird to say, but like, he shouldn't just throw that bag of trash into the trash can because he needs to separate it by recyclables. Yeah. Like you can't you can't just throw all the shit he picked up into one so, trash can. So enjoy because... that convenience guy. Wow, yeah. I mean, wow, that was convenient. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least at least he's nice. I mean, an American would have just thrown it on the ground. Like. <laughs> <laughs> they sped past a convenience store where an employee was cleaning up the sidewalk. Here, take this, will ya? Achi tossed over the bag of trash. Huh? Wait, huh? <laughs> Banos. This way. They slipped through the crowd and into a nearby back alley, but... Uh, wait, sorry. But this was a dead end, the girl said, apparently memorizing all of the city <laughs> restlessly. <laughs> like I said, just here. trust me. Even if you live there. Damn, what the fuck? He just, he just kicked the whole barrier down. He just Damn. literally took down a door. Okay. That's not nice. <laughs> Stopping abruptly, Achi kicked down a wooden plank covering a gap between two buildings, clearing a space that a person could fit through. See, we can get through, uh, we can get uh, way through here. In you go. But the girl just stood there looking terrified. What's the matter? Achi asked. Come on, we gotta hurry. But, but I... She looked at him as if he too was about to pull a gun on her. He could hardly blame her. After all, he was just some random guy who had turned up out of nowhere. But this was no time for dawdling. Or dawdling. Dawdling? 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 Have you never heard the of man dawdling? With the uh, I've heard of it, but I rarely ever use the word, so it takes like a second to figure out how to say it. Well, don't dawdle. Um, yeah, diddle daddle. <laughs> the man with the cane appeared at the end of the alley. Oh, really? Ah, Come on. He's, if they just he's stood magic. there, he was, he was going to catch them. I, does he have like a Dr. House pace with his cane? I'm really confused <laughs> about like how fast this guy with a cane is actually moving. Like they were Maybe literally really in a, a dead sprint. Statement. Maybe the cane has a sword in it. <laughs> 
That would be fucking amazing. <laughs> if he was like a modern day samurai with a cane as a sheath, that would be or an just, amazing. Or just, just the best character from the strain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sweetheart, hear me out. He said in a rush. My name's Achi Endo. I live in the neighborhood, and I'm not uh, the kind of stand uh, stand idly by when a girl is being chased by some killer. So please, just trust me, and I'll do my best to keep you safe. He hoped the look in his eyes could convince her he was being on uh, he was being on the level. Is that a that must be a Japanese phrase that I don't get? On the being level. Being on the level. No, that's normal. What does being on the level mean? Basically, what you think. Like it's like being above board. What? <laughs> Do you not know that one either? No, what the fuck uh, are you saying? You, uh, you're welcome to Google those during my chapter. <laughs> are you are you saying like being on the, like, is it like on, on the, the same and page? On the all like things that, uh, not the same page. It's more like good, honorable. Like cards on the table. Not up to bad things. <laughs> what? I've never heard of this in my entire life. You've never heard of on the level. No! Uh, fuck it, Google it right now, tell me what you find. That's ridiculous! Read the definition ridiculous. out, go ahead. There's, there's no way, I've literally never heard I've of this. Heard it, I've heard it plenty. Where? I think they might even use it as a, a in Yakuza actually. But no, it's just a, it's just a fucking reoccurring phrase. On it's the so, level? It's so vanilla that I don't have specific callbacks of where it memorably shows up. You, uh, a, did you did you search a it? Phrase phrase of level, honest truth. Yeah. What? Yeah, you've never heard of on the level. What well, the now you know. Just in time to live in a completely different culture that doesn't have that phrase. <laughs> you can use I it. Mean, on, you can use it on Naya and see if she stares at you or not. <laughs> I, well, yeah, she does that whenever I say things that are stupid, which is all the time. So she's always staring at me weirdly. If you say that someone or something is on the level, you mean that they are sincere, honest, and are not attempting to deceive people. Yeah, it's like I said. What Boom. the fuck? I have never heard this in my entire life. It's American in nature? What the fuck? Yeah, it is. It's, a, it's just a normal phrase. I'm even more confused. How the fuck have I never heard this? It's not even niche slang. It's like a normal phrase. I don't fucking say it, but you know, I, I, I know mean, I know means. I don't I don't read a lot of books, but yeah, like damn, I read a lot of I, books. They're called video games. <laughs> wow, that is that's not good. <laughs> Where on the levels I, definitely used. Well, I mean, on the level wasn't used in Huckleberry Finn, which is like the only book that I read that's American <laughs> that I like really remember besides One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, but I can't really- I you were gonna say like the only book I've read. <laughs> no. You're just gonna stop. <laughs> uh, Mary Finn, this, which is a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> You only read a I didn't even read Tom Sawyer. I just read Huckleberry Finn. <laughs> Fuck it. That's it. Like, no, it's just like, I, and I, I, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. I can't really, I, I, maybe it was in there, but I couldn't it's really also say. Really outdated sources of American dialect. <laughs> They're but like the, I mean, years old. Why, what am I? Why would I read current novels? They're all crappy and know, made for teens. Like, of all things, like, to reference as your basis of which slang or phrases you know, you're referencing shit that's ancient. <laughs> You know what? Maybe on the level they didn't was. Didn't say in, that in Romeo and Juliet. That voice I mean, not English. <laughs> it could have, on a genuinely. I bet you on the level is probably in Huckleberry Finn. But I was taken aback by how freely they use the N word. I probably didn't even notice. I didn't know what on the level meant. <laughs> I was probably just like, did he just say that to that guy? That's kind of racist. Like I probably didn't even think about the fact that I don't know what on the level even meant. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that I was like, yeah, you know, like above board, and you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, above, I didn't even look up above board. What the fuck is above board? Oh, uh, go ahead. <laughs> above it's gonna board? It's going to be an educational day. Legitimate, honest, open. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, that's why I used it as a synonym. That's what synonyms are. Shut your mouth. I know what a synonym is. I'm not. Are you sure you don't know? You don't want to look that one up. <laughs> I'm not illiterate. <laughs> you know what the you know what a special kind of strange little funny thing would be is to what? look up synonym and then get the synonyms for synonym because <laughs> it has to listen. I don't even think it's human. Is there synonyms for, for synonyms? Things. So it'd be like, here's the synonyms for synonym. It's like, and you know what this means now because it's the word you just looked up. <laughs> what is a synonym for a synonym? <laughs>
What is another word for synonym? I like what it doesn't we make any go, sense. We gotta go. <laughs> Sorry, I was oh. Okay, this one at least this one isn't American, so I don't feel bad about not knowing what above, above the board? board means. Yeah, above board. Is it That's, English or something? Uh yeah, it's well, it's uh I wouldn't say it's English, it's kind of just oceanic. Like it's just what sailors said, which can be just anything, can be from every nation was sailing except America because we didn't exist. Oh, just so, like does a boat board just literally refer to being on deck? Yeah, it's it is sometimes suggested that the board in question is the deck of a ship and that yeah. is the term comes from the seafaring practice of concealing pirates below deck. Below but, but board, much, but much in, like the in, original Black Betty, it's that its meaning is lost to time. <laughs> <laughs> What's Black Betty? Is it a drug? Is it a woman named Betty? Is it a gun? Nobody knows. <laughs> that would be kind of racist if it was a lady, because you're just saying, "Whoa, Black Betty!" You're Jay, telling me like, a song like, from 300 years ago might be racist. <laughs> it might really yes. refer to a Betty named that's black. <laughs> well, I feel like. I guess that's, that's racist too. I don't know, <laughs> but like, <laughs> I realized that my Maybe thought was also cow. racist. I don't know. This is really tough. I don't know how to say that. Any case, after a painfully long moment of looking up <laughs> phrases I didn't know, <laughs> we're going back to that. The, 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 the 999 thing of like moment, we do along us aside. The first thing you read is made funnier by its reference <laughs> to what it just happened. The girl nodded her acceptance. Phew. Right, let's start with this. Bang. <laughs> they had paused beside an enormous stack of beverage crates. With a quick shove, Achi knocked the whole pile down. Which I feel like wouldn't block you from a bullet, but okay. Sending it cascading yeah. across the pursuer's path. Enjoy Coca-Cola. Oh, that was a taller stack than I thought it was. <laughs> oh my god, that's... A <laughs> well, maybe it's a short man. <laughs> oh man, perspective. <laughs> 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 now he's on. Now we're on level with him. <laughs> it's not what things mean. <laughs> I, you know what? It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> now that was a close call. The man with the cane was floundering, struggling to get past the fallen crates. Haha, <laughs> 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 this isn't handicap accessible anymore. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, man. Achi, uh, Achi called out. Mind cleaning that up for me? Wow, that is. is oh. <laughs> Oh. oh no, the man if Right? The man scowled back at them and fumbled for his gun. Fumbled? I thought it was in your hand. What? Did you put it back in your pocket? Oh, Achi yeah, flashed him away. <laughs> yeah, with his cane. Yeah. Achi flashed him a very uh, a wave goodbye, then slipped away between the building with the girl. Good ending. <laughs> Game's you know what would be awesome? What if the, what if the 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 cane guy just like. Like he just kind of Log did lady. that. He did that sigh that you know you normally see bad guys do, where it's like a few, like the, the the hero's doing a futile thing that's never gonna work. Like, yeah. what if he just picked his cane up, shoved it in the out, like in between the walls of the alley, and then like jumped on his cane and jumped, like did a somersault over the crates and just landed and pulled the gun out and got and Archie's just like, fuck. Like, I, <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, it's like some yakuza game. Was a where ruse. The yeah, like the cane is just there to make him look weak, but it, like when he's in a position where it's just a pain in the ass, he just uses it as a like a leverage point. Hurrying down a narrow alley, they emerge into a side street lined with dive bars and clubs. Assuming the man with the cane hadn't given up, he would probably lie in wait on the path back to the main road. Achi decided their best bet was to try and stay inconspicuous rather than risk getting caught on the move. What is the appeal of calling your club Log Lady? <laughs> Because it has English and you're in Japan. <laughs> That's really all it is, isn't it? Have you, yeah, have you seen t-shirts that have English in Japan? Oh, a yeah, lot of them incredible. are just like, you cannot wear those in America. I've run around in, y like, in, in Yakuza and just seen random ass English phrases just peppered on walls here and there. And I'm like, all right, cool. I, I literally own a shirt. Every single club has an English um, name in that game. Mm -hmm. Every single place is called like, sh like Sunshine and Midnight and stuff. I literally own a shirt that uh, that I got that is like a, a shirt that was in Oops. One Piece, and and the shirt literally just says frog, no hippo, 
It just that that makes no sense in English at all. <laughs> like, I, I have and like I I remember uh, I remember an old man like asked me what my shirt meant, and I didn't know how to explain to him like yeah, even that, what the that, re- this like, is what Japanese people think sounds cool in English. Yeah, but I didn't even know how to explain to him what the connotation of that shirt would even mean. Like, why would the shirt say frog? Question mark. No, hippo. Did you try? Like, why would it even? You didn't try asking anyone about it in in like around there to see what they were go- thought they were going for with it. What in Japan? Yeah, when you bought it. No, no, no. I mean, it was it's from One Piece, like the manga. Oh. Like the like the Greedo artist shot just. First? Yeah, like the artist just literally, he just drew a person wearing a shirt that said frog, no hippo. And oh, it, so it makes no sense the, in context either. It just makes no sense in context just, either. He so just it's like randomly wrote that on a character. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, how do I explain that to a person, like this American old man, that like it's a shirt that doesn't have meaning? Like, do you, how do you tell someone a shirt just doesn't exist for a reason? Like, you should have just been like, wow, you are old. <laughs> when he didn't get it yeah so i could be that that asshole young kid where it's like you don't get it grandpa like <laughs> move over gramps the kids are in town <laughs> frog no hippo indeed <laughs> <laughs> I just some old guys just like uh oh, frog no hippo <laughs> like just sitting there forever guess we lie and wait here for a bit he said he led the girl to the entrance of a tiny old hostess club. Uh, uh, wait, wait, excuse me, a hostess club? Yeah. That's, that's kind of An fucked up. An old hostess club called the Log Lady. She I followed him questions. reluctantly. <laughs> I mean, I would be reluctant to enter a host club where the point of it is that hot women talk to you for money. Like, that would be weird as a girl walking in, unless you were into that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but, like, you should... I guess him bringing her into a host club would be kind of weird itself, too. Yeah. I, I think going to any host or hostess club is just a weird idea. It's a weird experience. You, uh, in Yakuza 0 and Kiwami 2, you have opportunities to run one. Oh, really? And it's just a real weird, like, oh, this is a whole, like, meta game thing where you you run it and you dress up the girls and you, they have different stats. <laughs> Of like <laughs> different stats. for like people that want to talk to someone funny or sexy or elegant or whatever, and you dress them up to yeah. affect their stats and, and their the, what their impression and stuff, and you they have stamina meters, so like it's... you have to like send them out, and when they get tired, you have to sub them out with other people that are still fresh and like like peppy and everything, so that the yeah. sun, that the tired people can go hang out out back and stuff. And yeah, it's, like it's a you know whole it's, thing. It's kind of weird because I. Like, I, I I looked into what, like, hostess clubs are. You know, like, going into the nature of, like, what do you do in them and all that kind of stuff. Hostess and host clubs are kind of, like, the... the weirdest like, shit. The, where they're, like, the Christian version of prostitution. Where, like, you don't do anything immoral. <laughs> it's like, you just... It's like hand-holding prostitution. <laughs> yeah, like, you basically are just... you're. It's like you're doing... You're doing the... Uh, what is it? You're it's, just like talking to. It's basically you're talking to a person, but you're paying them to talk to you. It's like which is like it's the like weirdest hooters, concept. But instead of a waitress, she like accompanies you the whole time. Yeah, know. but like it's yeah, it's like I said, it's like going to a bar, but paying the patrons to talk to you. Yeah, which is kind of like a weird thing to do because <laughs> like you're still sitting there paying for your drinks. But then you're also paying for the girl to talk to you, which is like, what the fuck's going on? Like, why why don't you just go to a regular bar and just casually talk to someone there? I don't get why you have to pay for company. That just makes no sense. It's one of the appeals but, of playing a game that takes place in a t- completely different culture is that you have, like, something incomprehensible to you will be treated as completely normal by everyone in the entire story. And you're like, okay. <laughs> Like everyone yeah. from like the protagonist to the villains to every random side character running around will be like, yeah, the hostess club, that's normal. And I'm like, what? Like like major confrontations happen at hostess clubs and you're like, huh? <laughs> and, and you, especially because you're the foreigner here, so yeah. you're like, is this, is this normal? Do people <laughs> fight in hostess clubs? I don't get it. What is this place? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah, that's, that is a thing. Like, I remember seeing me, me, Joe, and Kel, like, we're in the red light district, and so there's a bunch of those clubs, and we were like, there's these huge signs, and it's like, come on in, we've got these people here, and we're like, is this, like, 
a prostitution building? Do they just <laughs> advertise that blatantly? And then you walk past and there's like people outside the door trying to entice you to come in. But, you know, like, so for the host clubs, there's like these really, really nice dressed gentlemen in suits and their hair's all slicked back and they have makeup on and they're all like going up to girls and be like, ladies, would you like to come inside and, sh- and have a drink with me? And you're like, wait, what? Are they... I don't get it. What, is, is it like a scam? Are they going to kidnap them? This is so weird. Like they're wandering <laughs> like, around outside, try to lure people in to attract yeah. customers and stuff. But but like here's, and here's the same how thing. Weirdly, Yakuza leans into it. Is in Kiwami too. They have the Cabaret Club Grand Prix. <laughs> Grand which a, Prix, which is a countrywide tournament of cabaret clubs, where about oh. where you compete to make the most money. So it's like a oh. sport, and when you're doing it, it has an announcer. <laughs> like it's a show. An announcer? Yes. Wait, there's an announcer. It has, a, it has like an announcer announce... and a leaderboard. Is he like and narrating the the people's become, experiences at the, the host club? You're trying to become the top of your league so that you can defeat the, uh, so you can f- defeat the top of your league and and claim and claim the throne and stuff like that. It's fucking bizarre. <laughs> what? <laughs> This like makes no sense. <laughs> but sometimes this culture just scares me in different it's, ways. It's, uh, it's an experience. <sighs> it's just like you have to think like these are things that would never work in America. Like you just couldn't have this. Like it would people would just be confused why you don't just have sex with the person. Like, I, uh, <laughs> I do wonder sometimes if these are all like the confusing things that, that come up when you illegalize like. You, when you make like stuff like porn illegal in a country and things like that is like you start to have really weird manifestations of sexuality where like what is it uh like i keep I, I, i've in multiple games now i've encountered this thing where like here you will pay money to go into a back room and watch a vhs tape and presumably masturbate because there seems to be lotion and tissue there and it's you just, can do that like, here just in a back room behind a or, curtain but well, it's, i'm sorry you can you can do that in america not here because there's yeah, you couldn't do yeah. that in uh, where I'm in Dubai, but yeah, in America they I mean, have American porn games don't do normally in. feel the the impl- uh, particularly implied to like uh, to like include that well, in their in their yeah because display um, of their American culture. I mean, uh, most American ga- well, I mean, G- I'm sure GTA has one, but and then there like was the most- call, then there was the call booth thing too that we talked about. Oh yeah, like, like that's in like a call center where they get to talk to a girl. Yeah, I mean, America has that. We've had that forever. We used to advertise that shit on, like, children's network channels. <laughs> so, like, I mean, that's how I learned oh, half God. the numbers. I Actually, I think I, I remember learning. I, I learned the first one, which was, I think it was, like, 1-800. Uh, it was, like, yeah, it was, like, 1-800. Always, I think what makes it something. weirder for me is the fact that all of these services are about going to a location. Like yeah. In the Japanese context, you're going to a establishment that does that specific thing, and you're going, and like people are seeing your face and knowing, like, yeah, he's here to call girls and stuff like that, or whatever the equivalent is of these like several things we've talked about, is that they're all like a, a pre established thing. And I'm like, well, that's weird. Like, yeah, that guy's, just, that guy's well, just gonna walk right past my desk behind that uh, curtain, and he's gonna. Like that's that doesn't even block sound. <laughs> like you're standing like eight feet away from somebody that's working a desk as you masturbate, presumably. And I'm like, what the ah, uh, what? Well, I think the I think it's kind of the idea that it's kind of like when you work at a sex shop where you don't really think about you don't try to think about the person and what they're going to do with like in your store kind of thing. Like, I, there are sex shops that have, like, glory holes in them, and you don't think about that, I imagine, as a sex worker, as a sex shop owner or whatever. You just kind of think, like, it's just another person, and you just, <laughs> you know, kind of block it all out if of your you head. you work at a sex shop, call in. We'd like to hear from you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 1-800-CALL-SEX, <laughs> which is an actual call. number. I guess that's the right number of... Numbers. Yeah, yeah. You could do uh, <laughs> you could do call uh, call sex, call gay, call. Uh, there's another one too. I can't remember the other one. <laughs> what? I, I think no. I think there's another one for like call dog, call cat, and I think if you called them, if you called the one eight hundred number, and it would just be like the sound of dogs or cats. Yeah, and you just paid for that, 
It was like, Yay, I haven't discovered YouTube yet. <laughs> yeah, that's basically that's what it was. the most confusing part. There was also, I think there was, was one probably that was like, like a puppy noises ASMR 10 hour loop somewhere. Oh, there probably is. I just remember there was a commercial on like Cartoon Network at midnight and it was like, it was like, hey, you should call this number if you want to talk to nice ladies on the phone. And I remember as a kid, I was like, you can just call random people and they'll talk to you. That's kind of cool. And I remember like calling the number and it was not that way. Like my child brain thought it was a lot uh, more innocent than it <laughs> actually was. Because <laughs> it just the commercial just shows, you know, they can't show sex or Obviously, the commercial can't, like, imply sexual nature. So it's just two people laying, you know, like, one guy is just sitting in a chair in a suit. And he's, like, going having a good time on the phone. And then another one is just a lady laying on the bed, wearing clothes, talking on the phone, having a good time. So it was just, like, my child brain was like, oh, that's kind of nice. I wish I <laughs> could have a friend. Brain. <laughs> yeah, you know, so Poor I just called it. child brain did not understand. Why is, why is this guy smiling so big and pointing at wood in this commercial? <laughs> Yeah, but it's... <laughs> he just really likes wood. <laughs> but, yeah. it's It was kind of like that Rocco of Modern Life thing where he call, where Rocco calls the sex line and just, like, ends up with his neighbor where it's kind of like that kind of reaction where you're a kid and you call a sex line and you're like, hello? And the person's like, wait, are you a child? And it's like, yeah. And it's like, no, 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 no. This is how this works. <laughs> like... <laughs> You know, when you're like, you're in, you're doing a thing that's kind of like, you already don't really like what you're doing, but then something worse happens and you're like, no, 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 that's the limit. <laughs> like, <laughs> Anyways, Achi flick, flick the switch inside <laughs> of the front door and uh, a chintzy chandelier? What's a do you, chintzy? Do you need to look up chintzy too? I, I'm assuming that <laughs> just means fancy. Uh, I think it's like... Not good enough fancy. Not good enough fancy? Yeah. There's a word for that? <laughs> no, like like it's something that lo tries to be fancy, but it's clearly cheap. And it's clearly shitty. Oh, you mean like... like that kind of... Oh, okay. Like it's, so it's like faux fancy? Uh... Which is like, it's fake fancy? It's like fancy? something fancy. It's something that has the like... The 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 calling card elements of like being fancy, but it's clearly like from Coles, <laughs> like that kind of this, thing. This is like literally the worst fucking <laughs> definition ever. So the first definition of like or decorated with chintz. <laughs> I mean, Which, that might be the, the that might be the origin of the word is that there was something called chintz, and that's where the word came from. Maybe. Yeah, I don't. Again, I that, there's a I, number. I assume there's a number two. Yeah, the number two is cheap or of poor quality. But yeah. like, okay, so if I remove the Y, what do I get? Chintz, which is printed multicolored cotton fabric with glazed finish used for curtains and upholstery. What the fuck? Oh, wait. It's this probably just a particular like type of shitty curtain. <laughs> yeah, this escalated. This escalated quickly. No, it's so it's basically saying of like or decorated with a shitty fabric. Yeah. Which is Yeah. Why do words? Okay, why anyways. Why do words? Yeah, why do words? They mean things. Yeah, well, this one I know we're not used to using playing a game that has a vocabulary, so you haven't had to like learn words. Yeah, Andrew Imagine knows like smart games. This session is actually kind of remarkable compared to like all of all of Zero Escape. <laughs> Why would I need to look up words in Zero Escape? Like, I think, wasn't the most intelligent thing they ever said was, like, uh... I'm trying to think. Oh, my it God. It wasn't Schrodinger's cat. No. That was probably the biggest word they ever said. Um, Schrodinger? She gave him a worried look. Yeah, Schrodinger. Morphogenetic. Uh, felt, uh, <laughs> morphogenetic is made up. It's not. Achi felt, like uh, felt a pain of embarrassment as he realized that uh, what she must be thinking. Oh, no, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not going to try any fighting business. Someone I know used to run this place. It's not a, uh, It's not in business anymore, so I figured we're safe here. But if you want to join the business... <laughs> the girl chuckled at his evident discomfort. All right, then, she said. So we good? We're good. Okay, uh, well, good. Achi made a vague attempt to straighten his disheveled clothes. 
Call the Shev- police. <laughs> do you, do you think your clothes are disheveled? They're kind of like more than that. I mean, you're wearing a, a poofy vest and a. I Mr. don't think Clean his shirt. clothes can be sh- he- shoveled. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I gotta look that up. <laughs> Shoveled. <laughs> so how about some introductions? I'm Achi Endo. Like uh, I said earlier, you can just call me Achi. I'm Hitomi Osawa. You can call me Hitomi, I guess. Call the police. I don't think this business has a working phone either. Doesn't he have a phone? No one has cell Game phones. Takes Keep- place only ten years ago. Oh, well... I think I assume no one has cell phones in, in its modern day, which was 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, because the police officer had a cell phone. Um, with each new wor- or word out of Hitomi's mouth, Achi felt his heart sing. Okay, look, no. She was charming, personable, just about everything uh, about her was captivating. Achi had never met another girl like her. She has Probably not. Literally <laughs> not even expressed girls? a personality yet. <laughs> right? Jesus. She's literally just said, like, I... I She's like introduced herself, me. and that's it. Um, Achi? <laughs> Is something the matter? You were spacing out there for a bit. Achi shook his head to dispel his daze. Damn it, this is no time to get all starry-eyed. He needed to think of some way to keep her safe from the guy who was after her. Called the police. You're just now remembering a man with a literal gun is chasing after you? From, like, around the corner, maybe? Yeah. Did you even lock the door? I, well, he said the club doesn't run, so... Yeah. I mean, I guess. <laughs> There's no reason to. It's kind of like if you lock the door in an abandoned warehouse. I don't think anybody would just naturally walk into it. <laughs> Maybe somebody looking for hiding places. Fair point. <laughs> the I guy see where you're going the, with The that. guy who's chasing them would probably yeah. do that. I guess a guy a guy with a gun and a vest huh, what's interest this, the to first kidnap. door? Let's try that one. <laughs> hey, what do you know? They didn't lock it. What idiots. Yeah. Look, can you please tell me what the heck is going on? Please. Or wait, who I combine that? I need to know if I'm going to help you. Uh, right. Okay. I'm not really sure where to begin. It told me to look down, lost in thought. Apparently hers was a long story. All right, she said, at last. I guess I'll just explain things as they happened. Wait, hold up. Could you keep it as simple as you can? I mean, I'm not really the sharpest tool in the shed. Wow, okay, way to put yourself down there, Achi. Complicated explanations aren't exactly my strong suit. Uh, okay. Ah, sorry. God damn, Keith. I've made a Roll mistake. Fight the power. A twitchy finger. It's easier to accidentally press enter than A. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Uh, okay. Hitomi chuckled. I'll try my best. She got comfortable and then started her story. So, last night, somebody abducted my sister. The kidnapper demanded that I make the ransom handoff personally. He told me to stand by the statue of Hachiko in Shibuya at 10 o'clock in the morning to make the exchange. So I did. Uh, uh I didn't press that. Uh, it, like, auto-preceded? Is cool. this him, Is this him being stupid? <laughs> He's like, ah, uh, long explanation. Yeah. <laughs> So I did, and this man came by and took the attaché case with the money, and then afterwards that other guy with the cane turned up and pointed his gun at me, and, uh... Whoa, I'm sorry, hold up a sec. Achi uh, Achi had suddenly lost the thread (laughs) of the conversation. Already? Well, at least they're explaining what this one means. Oh, it's it's, it's a tutorial. At times like these, (laughs) uh, at times like this... Okay. You can press the up arrow to go back and reread what you've already seen. You can also press down to quickly yeah, scroll back through sections that. you've already read. It's just a tutorial over what I just did because I already knew how to do it. How dare you? That's what. That's why it auto proceeded. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it, it was, was like trying to give to you. That. It was giving you a actual real life scenario where if you weren't reading it fast enough yeah. or keeping up with the conversation, they, that's kind of cool. They built the visual novel mechanics into the story. <laughs> All the way down to him having trouble following conversations, being tutorial for you to be able to scroll back in conversations. Hey, Spike Chunsoff, this is how good visual novels work. What happened? <laughs> a, a year later, a, another game was much more popular. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what happened. How? What, what does that is even that say about it? Actually, that's not true, because 99 wasn't well, no. popular. 
No. Yeah, it sucked in Japan. Danganronpa so. was popular, which was like a, even later, I think? Yeah, uh... That, Dung, was, a, that Dung, was after 999, right? Dung, uh, yeah, Danganronpa was, I think, like a year or two after 999. Because I remember we were watching the anime in like 2013 or 14. Oh god, were we? Yeah. Has it been really three years since that stupid anime aired? Probably. Yeah. You lived in an apartment when we were watching that. Fuck. Wow, that's scary to think about. <laughs> I'm I'm literally wasting my life. Yeah, we're wasting <laughs> like... away. There's, there's no, all right, there's uh, gonna be nothing left see. of us soon. It's all over. Thank God, finally the nightmare's over. <laughs> Could you say that again, but like simpler? Okay, Achi, he, she literally said it said, as simple as possible. Yeah. She just said like, sister kidnapped. It was a very factual uh, brought, summarization. Brought money. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Like, good, good you job, could- bro. Uh, huh? Sure. Uh, I'm that just that having trouble following is all. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that face? <laughs> I mean, is this a plot to some movie or soap opera? No, that's not. Or some kind of hidden camera show. This is real. This is really happening. The look in Hitomi's eyes was dead serious. She's got to be telling the truth. Why would she be? What, what would be the point in lying? And he had seen the Atashi case and the gunman himself. How much? Uh, how much was that? Uh, was a ransom? If you don't mind me asking. That seems kind of rude to say, but okay. <laughs> Hitomi hesitated. Uh, Fifty million yen, she said after a moment. I actually gave a whistle of amazement. Wow, the classiest of bros. I, I can hear it too. <laughs> it's like you can see it in the movie where he's just sitting there and she says like, yeah. <laughs> God, I fucking I fucking hate that. Like, Voiced by Brad a... Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> Only if the gunman could be George Clooney. Uh, that'd be so much. That'd be so good. Matt I could hear. I could hear George Clooney as that gunman too. Like that scene <laughs> where like he where that especially that scene where he's like. But zoomed in on his face after he pushed all the the soda things down. I could just see like George's face, just like, <sighs> like <laughs> I could see it. I've seen enough Ocean Eleven's movies. What was we doing? Okay, the detective. Uh, the detectives told me that a typical amount for a kidnapper. Uh, that's the that was a typical amount for a kidnapper to ask for. It's plenty, that's for sure. I guess there's good money in that sort of thing. As soon as the words were out, he realized his blunder <laughs> of being a fucking jackass. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, he's really bad at the talking, ever. Uh, s sorry, I uh, I shouldn't have put it that way. He fidgeted awkwardly, and Hitomi looked away. I'm an idiot, but okay, I think I get the kidnapping thing. So I guess those, I'm guessing those guys who chased the guy who took the ransom were undercover cops. He replayed the scene in his head. How did you know when you gave this guy this voice that he was going to be exactly as smart as Sigma? Keith, <laughs> I have a uh, a very a very good uh, ability to judge to to read people quickly by their face. When I look at people, I know what kind of people they are. <laughs> Even anime people. Even uh, anime see. people. Especially anime people. Especially anime people. I got you down. I got your number no matter what you, your face looks like. <laughs> Andrew's already solved the mystery. <laughs> I have seen 912 Conan episode, uh, Detective Conan episodes. I, uh, I feel like at that point I have to be good at a mystery to some capacity. show having that many episodes is illegal. It will be soon. <laughs> <laughs> Once it reaches a thousand, I'm sure some law will be passed by Congress. Just like, <laughs> our kids can't watch a thousand Detective Conan episodes, it's absurd. They'll turn <laughs> like... into Andrew. Oh. We don't want more Andrews. Oh. Do I have to go to a hearing and prove that I'm not a bad influence on children? <laughs> like... Let's see, who I, I have to check who's reading, because I, I don't know who's talking sometimes. Okay, but then the kidnapper 
took the Itachi case and ran, right? So if you were empty-handed, why'd that guy with a cane come after you? I'm honestly not sure. I just... Hitomi's words trailed off. This was clearly difficult for her to talk about. Anyway, we should probably get you to the police as soon as we... No, we can't do that. Hitomi's tone was resolute. I can't take the can't take this to the police. Well, why not? Weren't the That's police good... already in on it? Yeah. Also, he ran to a police box, and she wasn't like, "Hey, no, stop." Yeah. <laughs> like, Achi waited for an answer, but none came. After a long and awkward silence, she stood up from her seat. I really appreciate the help, but I should be I should go now. She gave Achi a deep bow. <laughs> like how deep? Did she like hit her face in the concrete? Like I, what is No, hold on. What do you mean go go where? He hurried to intervene as she headed to the door. I don't want to cause you any more trouble. I'll figure the rest out on my own somehow. Hey, I said hold on. Just as she opened the door, a man with a gun quickly like, <laughs> grabbed her. <laughs> like, uh, Hitomi ignored him and opened the door, and their argument came to an abrupt halt. That might be what happened. Please don't. That would be so cliche. Uh, God uh, damn uh, it. You idiot. It's almost like they were loudly talking by the door and didn't lock the door and made every possible mistake here. Actually, I think he did lock the door. And he was just waiting there? I think she just yeah. I think I'm he the probably just. The cane. Well, he probably heard them like talking, like you said, because they're literally at the door. Yeah. And then he tell, was like, "Tell me, he's bad at this." They're both bad at this. Everyone's yeah. bad at this. Like the cane yeah. guy's bad at this. The because he didn't just shoot them in the alleyway. He waited for him to like literally explain who he is and <laughs> get her trust, and then ran off. Like, anyways. Standing there was the man with the cane, his revolver in his hand. We haven't made a choice in a while. Because it's lore dump was... time. <laughs> to be continued. I wonder if we beat the first hour. That might be it. I, I think so. We probably did beat it. So I think when you get past the decision... Yep. Achiendo's 10 o'clock story ends here. I, I think uh, your reward for beating a bunch of uh, getting past the decision puzzles is that you then get like a, a linear lore dump for a while, which serves to distance you from the decisions so that you can be clear about not having to fuck with those anymore when you when you hit the next problem. And then also, yeah. also now That's that you're nice. done with the crisis of everyone just running five feet and getting shot and shit like that, now you can actually tell some story for a bit. So it probably goes back and forth. However, Shinji, uh, Shinji Akano still has more to do. We read along further in Kano's story. So now we can see what happens to Kano since Achi has reached the ending of that. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see, we left Shinji, we, we left Shinji Akano all the way back here. Mm. So, oh, it's only like another 15 minutes actually. Uh, well, 15 minutes in their time, but for us it was like... yeah. A pretty good while, actually. Yeah, but it was the last the last third of the hour played out. I wonder when the new characters come in. I would imagine be Kano's story, because I bet you... Uh, I can imagine one of the people is, in a, is going to end up being... Uh, like, one of the bad guys. Oh, no. I, no. Now that I think about it, one of the characters is definitely going to be Hitomi. And another character is probably going to be... That's whoa, new. Whoa, whoa. That's all new. What are you doing? Yeah. The last, well, the last one wasn't new. The last scene was the chase scene that always happens. Oh, okay. But now, this time, the man did a different path, apparently. So, because of, because of variables changing. The man shot out onto a major thoroughfare, then bolted up a pedestrian bridge. Just where the heck was this guy heading? Halfway across the bridge, the man stopped abruptly. He's taking different paths. He must have, like, an earpiece that's feeding him on, like, where to go. What is he, oh, American? <laughs> wow. Oh, these foreigners. Cautious. Baka Gaijin. <laughs> Cautious. <laughs> that pose. Uh, iron your shirt. 
Well, it's a trench coat, isn't it? Iron your trench coat. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Movies. <laughs> this isn't kind of a matrix. As well. <laughs> oh my god. Well, no, he's not American. He's definitely British. I mean, Is that a teeth joke? Yes. Height also, 190 centimeters. H. 30 seconds. Wait, 130 <laughs> seconds? Hair dark brown, clothing all black. <laughs> Wait, okay, we, we really need to talk about the fact that, like, he's 190 centimeters. That's a really tall guy. I don't know what that like, is. That's like... I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I, can't, I can't do a head conversion on that. That's almost like... What? I think that's like six... Six... Uh, six point are you, five are you, feet? Are you Googling it? Uh, or are you trying to head convert? I was trying to head convert, but... Oh no, never mind. I thought it was more than that. It's uh, you, well, it's still tall. It's six feet and two inches. Yeah. So you my think brother. The, <laughs> I mean, the the average height in Japan is like. Well, five, yeah, he's not. Ten, he's five, really not Japanese. Yeah. Well, no, I know, but I'm saying like, even even if even if for some reason he managed to escape, it's not hard to find a six point like a <laughs> six two man in a fucking. That's in why fucking he's. Japan. That's why he's the distraction for the cane guy. Yeah, I guess it's true. A moment later, the man flashed a triumphant sneer and held up the attache case. Before Kano could even yell, stop, it was already too late. The man threw the attache case down to the roadway below. What? No! Panicking, uh, Kano peered over the railing. A man on a motorcycle what? was waiting beneath the bridge! What the fuck? That this is like the most move. This is such an intricate kidnapping ransom. <laughs> I guess now we know why it was fifty million dollars. That man was Tom Cruise doing his own stunts. He was the briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you were gonna say he's the bike. No, <laughs> the, literally the bike. I'm glad that we both defaulted to him being inanimate objects in the scene doing his own stunts. <laughs> I mean, I've been had. Kind of bit his I've, lip hard. I've been had. Okay. Damn it. Kind of sprinted back down to the bridge. We're not gonna arrest that guy. Okay. I mean, the bike's engine roared to life. He had he had to make it in time. It's a motorcycle, and you're very far. Okay, that was a bad idea. Well, he can get the license plate at least. Yeah. Descending the stairs four at a time, he leapt toward the roadway, but the bike sped out of reach, and roared away in the direction of Yoyogi, leaving Kano in the dust. It's dust. Leaving, uh, looking back up at the overpass, he saw the man who'd thrown the Atashi case running away. Where's everyone else? Wasn't there like fifty other cops in this case? Yeah. They all, they all, like, disintegrated. At a, at, like, at a snap. <laughs> Did you just snap your fingers? Yeah. <laughs> I just like, cracked my knuckles. Oh. He handed the money off to someone else. He's currently on a motorcycle, heading towards Yoyogi. His report to Kuze complete. Kano slumped down in dismay. The cops had played right into the criminal's hands. Now the crooks were getting away, and people's lives were in danger. I mean, literally every part of this undercover operation failed. Yeah. Like, good literally thing there every was a part. trash collector. <laughs> like, the money was stolen, the, <laughs> the girl was kidnapped. Like, I... Yeah. Who, it's okay, there was only, up? like, 50 police on the case. <laughs> yeah, like, it's fine. We only pulled, like, we only had, like, a 50-mile radius of cops pulled from their, <laughs> from their police box to be available for this crime, and none of them were able to do anything. Was there any greater failure for a policeman? Staring off into the distance where the man who'd thrown the case had disappeared, Kano gritted his teeth. Where did homeless guy go? <laughs> Wait, where the fuck did anybody go? Like, when you... I guess he just didn't keep up. <laughs> Yeah, but when you... T Kano's when you, just a track star also. <laughs> as Achi, when you talk to the girl, when you talk to Hitomi, like, seven cops tackle you immediately. Yeah. But the moment that the guy comes to get the briefcase, nobody tackles him. How? Bum, 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 I don't know. Uh, which guy? 
the the the, the guy with the, the foreigner. Uh, because to get away with it when you attack Galachi, but yeah, the specifically you choose to not approach. We specifically chose not to approach as Achi, right? That's the correct ending. Ye and then, yeah, they don't tackle yeah. him sufficiently for some reason. Yeah, they just don't. They're get, intimidated they're... by his his size. I guess. You finished reading both character stories for the hour of ten o'clock in four two eight. You'll make your way through all the protagonists. Stories in parallel like this. Once everyone has reached oh. the end of a given hour, the next hour can begin. This is going to get increasingly harder the more people you add. <laughs> oh, yeah. Zoom. <laughs> Wait, I forgot about the mascot. Oh, God. <laughs> I, was hoping, I was hoping to keep that a secret. <laughs> what? What voice is that character gonna have? Wait, is someone about to kill themselves? Wait, whoa, hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> this is doing the 999 thing now of like giving Bananas? away <laughs> like giving away spoilers, but not spoilers because we have no context for them, but like What could that there was a, mean? There was a picture of a mascot, a guy about to hang himself, and then an amazing man with an amazing afro. <laughs> like I, I oh my god that guy. <gasps> Oh my god, we have all of them already. <laughs> oh, we just have them now. Oh my god, the the thing's name is Tama. That's Tama. great. Tama, Tama Osawa and Minorikawa. Oh. This, this is a cast. Wait, Minorikawa, isn't that the... That's the detective we look up to? No. Um, the dick Or is that the... <laughs> Yeah, uh, or what, is, is that the detective that uh, was next to us? This is the end of the tutorial for this part of the story. You can reread previous tutorial messages via the main menu. There's a lot of important info in there, so reread it closely. Now, Fort Tweed has reached the 11 o'clock time block. You have five protagonists available. <laughs> they really just dump you in. Whose story will you read first? Oh my god. Oh, they really yes. rotate like the Tomb Raider inventory. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> oh my god, it dances. That pose. <laughs> I love it. Huh? Uh. <laughs> Wait, is, Asa is Osawa just Kojima? Like, no, no that's, not, okay. that's not Kojima. <laughs> From afar, it kind of looked just like Kojima. It's just like, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> oh, that's Kojima. He's hiding in there. He's hiding in there. That would be that would be amazing if you get to the end of this game and he just takes off the hat and it's just Kojima. <laughs> like It's like when you hear about like who's playing the stormtroopers in a Star Wars movie. Wait, who is playing stormtroopers in Star Wars movies? Oh. Yeah, for the last few Star Wars movies, random stormtroopers have been played by like really prominent actors. Because they want to be in a Star Wars movie for like a minute, but don't want to actually commit to the whole thing or because of the whole part where they they kind of hire lesser known actors to play like these characters so they can like embody the character and not have any previous baggage and stuff so there's just like a there's just like articles to read about like all the like who plays the various stormtroopers in each movie and stuff like that and like some of them are just Man. extras and some of them are like oh shit it's that guy do you think they told like was there anybody like super famous uh, I don't remember, but it was no. I think. But was it Jason Statham? What? I forget. Are you it, Jason Statham was a they stormtrooper. Were, they weren't like unknowable people. They were like noteworthy people. I but wonder I if they. But I don't remember who they were. <laughs> like that would be hilarious if no one, like no one but the director knew that. Well, and they just don't tell anyone. Or yeah, like, they don't do you mean tell... including? Do you mean including the actor? <laughs> like he doesn't know he's no, just no, play like, a stormtrooper in one scene, and no, they're no, like, "All right, the actor, that's it. Here's your million dollars." The actor team. knows. <laughs> I mean, the actor knows because they obviously like would have to agree to the role. But I'm saying like nobody on the set knows except for the director and I guess a costume person. But like, like could you imagine you you uh, you finish a you finish a scene like you could you know like the main characters finish a scene or something and then you just. A, like a stormtrooper just takes off his mask and you're like, Jason Statham! Like, <laughs> like that would be a crazy surprise. What are you checking out the tutorial? 
uh, I, I tried to press up and it started telling me that uh, you can only affect stuff within the current time block. Ooh. So it's okay. like if you get stuck, only stay in this time block. Don't go to the previous hour. Really? Oh, yeah. Obviously, don't go yeah. to... Uh, so we got the, the endpoints for Achi and Kano, and then we have Minori Kawa, Osawa, Tama. Osawa, Osawa was just like a mascot that was there. Asawa so, is, is just like, a radio now. He's just, he's <laughs> like, <laughs> Look at that action shot. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like yeah. that. This is, this is uh, turning into. Oh my god, if Thomas saves the day, I'm going to lose my mind. Of course, Thomas is going to save the day. Like. Oh, that'd be great. Thomas just shows up and punches the guy with the <laughs> Thomas cane. Thomas going to assure you can look out the cane. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, mean, uh, I can Dumbest see it. Idea. Like I can see it happening. I believe it in my heart. Mm -hmm.